Right, traders. Well, we had a, a big miss in the Aussie employment report earlier this morning. So I'm going to have a quick look at the Aussie cross and see how the uh, the currencies reacted to this. Now, we can see that um, we'll start with the euro Aussie here. There was a obviously a spike up to start, um, retraced completely within a few minutes there. We'll have a look at a few more. This It's a bit of a strange reaction when you're on the surface of uh, such a weak figure seeing all these retracements. Same with the Aussie US. We see this big drop on the jobs, uh, fully retraced very soon after. Now, the reason for this was that um, under the hood, there was a bit of a mixed job support. The unemployment rate stayed around the same. Even though there was a lot of jobs lost in December, uh, we're still up over 52,000 since uh, September. So for Q4, there was still a fair big gain in, in, uh, in jobs. Also, we saw the, um, the chances of an RBA cut at the next meeting originally spiked a bit higher uh, I and mean, retraced completely. So we came into this job support with 13% chance of a cut next meeting in uh, Feb, and we've now looked exactly the same. So the rates market's not buying that this one figure is going to move the RBA's decision making too much. Now, one pair that does stick out a little bit is the Aussie Kiwi, um, which could open up an opportunity. It's the one pair that hasn't fully retraced. Uh, we see the dip here, and then we've pulled back about half of that and, and really struggling around that major key level at 107, which has been um, is, is always a big support or big resistance level. So that will be the key level to watch on this pair. Might give some opportunities if we can retake that 107 and hold a support. We could see that full retracement on the Aussie Kiwi. If this holds resistance, uh, certainly more downside 